Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am, and there's a huge reason for it. Right now, I'm making myself a uh, Blue Dream Neo Caradina tank. I've got a bunch of stuff here that I'm going to be setting up. Today, we're going to be talking about how to attach um, Christmas moss, and I'm going to make like a, a literal, like, well, not literally. I'm going to make a tree with Christmas moss uh, for my shrimp because they love they love moss, uh, especially when they have babies. That's where they go and hide. Uh, before we get into that, I want to do a shout out to Gary Allen. He asked me a question, and I'm going to answer his uh, question. He he wanted an update on the red undulatas. I bought uh, quite some time ago. I always save the packages, so if anyone has a question about something, you can see, you know, this was something I got from uh, PetSmart, and uh, so let me, he want, he just simply wanted to see what they look like now. You know, it's been six months since I planted them, and they've done their full transition, so let me point them out to you. All right, this is it, and this too, if you can get a good look at it. I know there's a bush behind it, but yeah, it only grew about maybe an inch and a half more than it was in the tank, and I think that might have been part of his... his uh, reasoning for asking is because I've explained how tissue culture plants uh, it causes them dwarfism and yeah when I got it it was in this bag it was about this big and no it didn't grow that much that much more um, and it's been plenty of time for it to exceed you know the length that it is but anyway so before we do this let me show you the shrimp. All right. Because this is what I'm making all this stuff for. So let's see if you can get a good look at them. Uh, in here I have um, Blue Dreams, but not just Blue Dreams. I also have Black Rillies. And I'm breeding the two together because what happens when you breed... Blue Dreams with Black Rillies is you get Carbon Rillies. And so that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, when it comes to Neo Caradinas, if you're going to mix them, you want to be sure that you're mixing in the same color. So like you can mix Orange Rillies with Sunkiss uh, Neo Caradinas. You can also mix orange pumpkins with sun kiss or orange rillies you see where i'm getting at you need to stick stick to their colors if you try to mix you know like a uh, a green jade and a red fire cherry you're not going to end up with some purple mystery you know it doesn't work that way or mixing a blue dream with a yellow golden back you won't get green shrimp that's not how it works they they, they uh they regress back to their wild form when you start doing that. So you have to stick within their colors. So anyway, uh, what I'm making is a Christmas moss, Christmas tree for my shrimp. I'm doing a lot more than that. I mean, look at all the stuff I got here. I got all kinds of crypt. I got bronze crypt, uh, green crypts, uh, red crypts. Um, Let's see here. Uh, this is bulbitis. I'm going to be attaching to to this cholo wood, and cholo wood is also great for shrimp. But anyway, so let's get to the point here. Uh, the point of the video is I'm going to be making a Christmas moss tree, and what I've done, if you look right here, this is a piece of a uh, fishing line. So instead of going, because my fingers are jacked up. And instead of going through the tedious amount of, of going in circles and then having to tie these little knots with this really thin thread, I just glue a piece of it down. And then that glue will hold the string. Then 
I'll take my moss and I'm going to put this on here as I see fit and, and when and when this stuff grows it, it'll start looking like uh, what it's called you know it's called Christmas moss for a reason and it's leaves although out of the water it won't look like that but under the water it starts to kind of look like pine needles uh, which is which is awesome and you can you can kind of kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about right here and I, I just want to coat this entire piece of wood uh, with this and so I'm going to actually I think I can I'm gonna put a little bit more on here yeah yeah it's gonna look awesome look at that so now that I've got this on here I'm gonna take my fishing line or you can you can use a uh, a uh, sewing string also is fine um, but I'm using the clear stuff so you won't see it and uh, over time it'll eventually start to cling on to this wood um, so uh, now I'm just gonna go now I'm just gonna wrap this round and round round and round it goes All right, yeah, yeah. You see, I impressed myself. Oh me! So uh, give this a you know a few weeks, and this is gonna look like an awesome moss tree that I've made for my shrimp. And um, I've got a few more videos to make because I'm gonna show how to do all of these plants because I'm making a perfect shrimp tank. Now, if you if you start getting into um, Neocaridinas, uh, or shrimp in general, I would start off uh, with the ghost shrimp, okay? And and figuring those are the easiest. If you can get a ghost shrimp to live, you're on your way to Neocaridinas. And, and uh, let me give you their parameters. Uh, you want a TDS meter when it comes to shrimp. It's extremely important. And I've already explained before how this is even important just when it comes to plants, you know, because if your TDS is too high, your plants won't photosynthesize. They won't produce oxygen. So you have to think about that, too. Um, so with uh, Neocaridinas, I write everything down here because I've been comparing, you know, what this is at. And uh, TDS for Neocaridinas, 220 to 300. Max pH 7 to 7.8. Mine's at 7.6, which is great. And then uh, general hardness would be 6 to 8. And then carbon hardness, uh, 65 to 72 parts per million. Um, and all, all, of my, all of my parameters are, are looking spot on. So I've been spending quite some time converting uh, you know, everything to make it perfect for these guys. So uh, once I'm done tying all of this, I'll simply... Actually, you know what? I'm going to add another piznidly piece on here. Yeah, right there. And then the other end of the string, I'm going to take my super glue. Now, if you use super glue, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, just so you know. But you need to make sure it has this ingredient in it, or it's no good for your plants. It needs to have cyan o acrylite so that c y a n o c a c r y l a t e make sure that's in it that makes it a gel okay if it doesn't have that in it it's you can't use it for under for gluing plants or in any of that stuff and if you want to be really absolutely sure that it's safe you know, buy super glue that was made by Seachum or Fluval or whoever, but they're going to charge a little bit more when you can just go get Gorilla Glue for 99 cents and just make sure it has that in there. So now I'm going to glue the other end of the um, fishing line on here. Now this stuff also activates quickly with water. So if you're having a hard time getting it to stick, it's because it's not wet yet. So I have like a mister, 
and I'm just going to miss that spot where I put the glue and then do a, a dab dab dibbit 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 dab on here look at that all right Christmas moss made a Christmas tree now this stuff's going to start fanning out and it, you know and it'll look great in a couple weeks I'll do an update on it so you can see how it's going uh, I have a lot of planting to do in here uh, super excited oh temperature uh, for neocaridinus 72 degrees now if you want them to breed faster you can kick it up to 78 but there's a con to that they'll breed faster but it also speeds up their lifespan so if you kick it up to 78, yeah, they'll start having more and more babies, but then they'll die quicker. And they already have a short lifespan. Uh, Neocaridinas, a uh, year and a half, you know, so you're going to be chopping off at least six to eight months if you're going to have the, the temperature that high. And trust me, not only did I research that, but I saw it for myself in my other tank where I was breeding shrimp. And uh, they were dying quickly. I would have a baby. And yeah, they even grow quickly too. So the baby would be microscopic in like two weeks. It was like full grown. And then four months, four to six months later, they were just dropping off like flies. So I wasn't getting, you know, the full life, life expectancy out of them. So 72 degrees. And take your time, you know, with this hobby. We don't need to speed things up. Enjoy yourself. Okay. And, oh, one more shout out. Um, I have a new subscriber. His name is uh, Primo Poblete, Poblete. I, if I said it wrong, you know, I apologize. I never know if, the, if, if some of these subscribers, if, the, if it's their real name or not, you know, because I, you know, there's also a subscriber and his name's Shabubli Jones. That can't be real, you know. Gary's a real name. So thank you, Gary Allen, for your question. And, and that reminds me, you know, I, I'm helping out beginners and if you have a question I will answer it either directly through the comments or if I feel like I need if you want to see something like I've shown you how to plant and grow something and like what Gary wanted he wanted to see me uh, show what they look like months later which I did I will do that you know that that's what I'm here for so don't be scared speak up you know uh, I don't know how long he's been following me but he's been curious about it so if you have a question, I can't help you if you don't say something, you know. So, I mean, and that's what this whole channel is geared for. Is I, I'm trying to help all of you who are just getting started and going to big chain stores and buying plants. And I will guide you through the entire process. So, you buy something and it starts dying, tell me exactly what's going on. And I, I, I will figure out a way to get you out of whatever's happening, you know. So... Don't be scared. Talk to me. I'm a nice guy. I want to talk to everybody. You know, so uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. One more look at my Christmas moss Christmas tree. And uh, we'll see you next time. I got a lot of work to do with these shrimps. So thanks again for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. If you're down in the dumps, dig yourself out. Get up, go for a walk, call someone, all right? Have a wonderful day.